Here I am now. Is that started? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Um, here I am now. I'm going to be changing my uh, coil, my ignition coil. It's right up in here. This is that boot that I was talking about before. I'm going to have to put this on to the other one, the replacement. But I, I need to get that off first, and I'll just show you what I've done. See, I figure I'm going to go take this for a test after to uh, make sure this was the problem. And uh, I want to make sure that I have this with me. It's a tire fix kit. And I've got, of course, my pump over here that helps me. You know, and Mr. Mittens is coming to make sure that I got everything right here. Okay, so I've got a nice bunch of juice there, good gloves, I've got my coat and stuff that I'm bringing along for later, but right now I just want to get this out of here, see I've got my coat and there's a ball and mitt in there and the hood and some other neat stuff there, but right now I just want to be able to fix my phone wheeler. Hi, Mittens. That's what we want right now, huh? We're going to fix the four-wheeler. That's right. That's right, huh, kid? We'll fix the four-wheeler. All right, so I've got my tools over here. I really don't like leaning down in the into the, the cold, wet ground. It's morning, and this is cold, wet. Now, it's not cold enough for me to be wearing this. I'm just bringing this along for the ride later because I would like to if I can if this does fix the problem then the idea is to take a trip into Frenchville and visit my buddy Roger and that's why I'm bringing my ball and mitts and maybe we can pay play some catch over there for a bit you know let me get this stuff taken care of properly here I don't ever you know I don't like losing stuff put things so that they're easily kept track of. Now, to get this bad boy off from underneath here is not a hard deal at all. I gotta take off my hat because it's just gonna be in the way. Mittens, what are you doing? He's over there hanging on the freaking shed door. <laughs> now he's looking like something attacked him when it was his own foolishness. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, I think I'm looking at this right side. Oh, a little too big. I'll fix this a bit. Can't tell here. What is this size here? Three eight. Three eight is the whole thing. Hold on, oh no, I'm on the M38. Let's see if maybe this. Ah, switched over and did a jappy on me. Put a millimeter measurement on the other on this here, and this craft, this here, that's what it is. See, this is a Yamaha, so it's going to be metric, all metric. I should have known that. A little brain fart there. I was working on my craftsman for a moment. A moment. That's over there. <laughs> All right. It's not too difficult to remove this. There's only two bolts holding it up there, and it's 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 got a wire plugged into one end of it. to be a pain in the butt. Self-tap, self-setting. 
bolts that go in to hold this on there, so they come out pretty snug and they go in pretty snug. You know, it's got to be that way. All right. So I had to grab a wrench. That's okay. I shall grab the wrench to do that and then the ratchet to do the other. Ah, oh, this one's coming out really. Well, hello, Mr. Mittens. Are you coming to make sure I'm doing good jobs? Huh? What do you think, I kid? Those two bolts off there, and I just disconnected the plug that goes into the back of it. Now, hopefully, there's my problem. This is all original equipment, and I've put on some high speed miles lots and lots of miles high speed, <laughs> so it's not surprising to me that it needs to be replaced. But now, see, I went ahead and put this on there before. But I didn't put the uh, the, the uh, garment, the rubber garment that goes on there. I have had to take it off the other assembly. I forgot it. I almost forgot it, but I remembered it. it. <laughs> almost forgot it, but remembered it, and got it on. Oops! You know what? I almost did a bad thing again. I've got past this through this plastic clip that I didn't want to cut in there because I don't have any clips right now to replace it with. So I just took it, that's why I took it apart. So I could pull it through that clip without breaking the clip, see? Don't break it. That rope can be pretty loud, I know. But I didn't want to break that plastic. So that's why I'm assembling this thing the way I am here. If I'd had more plastic clips, now see I have I have like these pipe pipe hose hose clamps there, but that's a little overkill for something like this. So rather than breaking the clip that's holding it there, replace it. I just simply Work around it. Make it so I don't have to replace it. And make sure that's screwed on there really good. All the way down. All the way down in there. As good a connection as you can get on that. You put that rubber garment on there. Seal it. And that goes right here on the plug like that. Now this gets mounted up into place after you plug the wire into it. Make sure you plug that wire into it first that way you know it's done and it's easier to do right here too. And there's a ground wire that's in here too you need to be aware of.
Okay. I'll put my bolt in. Put my ground wire on the bolt between between my hardware and the frame because I want that ground wire to be connected as closely to the frame as possible. Now, it's kind of tough to do because I'm blinded. You know, I've only got one eye to work with on Thunder here. But I got it, I believe. Finger threaded on the one side so far. And I'll get this one finger threaded here too. Uh oh. It's giving me a hard time now. It was being so easy. And now it wants to be a little bit of a hard time. Well, the other one is in there. I think it tied it a little bit better. Now, now I got. It's easier to work with now because I got my right hand in the right place there. It's awkward. It's on the left hand side of the freaking thing and it's hard to, it's hard to get to with my right hand and I'm right handed. So... Damn. I gotta tell you, this is being a pain in the butt. Uh huh. I think I feel threading. Yes, I feel threading. Good. Progress. Haha. Uh -huh. I just had to focus. Clear my mind, focus. Don't even use my eyes there. Just get out. Let my hand do it. And it worked. Okay, now, let's get them tightened in there. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to use the wrench on this one at first. That's right. It's a long enough bolt, that's for sure. I don't know where Mittens is there. I know he's out here and the apartment is locked because I'm not going back up there. Once I get this fixed there, we're going for a ride to check it out. Hopefully the problem I was having before doesn't exist anymore. And we can go for a nice ride to Frenchville to visit some friends. Now I can use the speedo wrench over. La -ti -da, ti -di -ti -di. Well, so much faster with the ratchet wrench. When it's work, when it's grabbed, it's when it's supposed to, all it wants to be a drag. That's all right. The nut is too loose. It's not. <laughs> it's not working the ratchet like it should. So I'm having to use the ratchet manually, like a wrench. On off, on off, on off. All right, I'll get it. Eventually, that screw or that bolt will tighten up a little bit. There we go. 
Now I can use the uh, speed of action of the wrench, of the ratchet. And this one will stay good, I know. It's nice and snug. snug. Uh. Oh yeah, what's going on good there? I can keep the wrench on the bolt. It's staying on there good now. And we are making good progress. Yes. Reaching bottom there. And giving a good good torque. Make sure she's good and tight. Now, position this cable where it's nice, where it's supposed to be there. Alright. Hopefully it starts right up now. It was starting up before. So it shouldn't be a problem to start at least. Let's see, am I going to have to... Am I going to have to choke it? I don't know. Let's see. I think I will have to choke it. Oh, my fuel is off. That's right, I turned my fuel off. Okay, choke it. Not looking good here. Come on now, girl, you gotta start up for me. Why is she not starting? Oh, this is not good. I'm not liking this. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. I just had to go to full choke on the baby. Quite ready. Oh, joy. It's got good. Whoa. It's got good compression. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Start, baby. Yeah. 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 Oops. Should have left that on choke a little bit, I guess. I'm gonna leave that choke on a little bit. Whoops. Before, it wasn't letting me go very far at all. So once it warms up here, uh, yeah, oh shit, that's right, I've got a flat tire. I forgot about that. So, this bike's got to warm up anyway. It's been sitting for a while. 
I want that coil hot anyway so I'll leave that running while I get this tire pumped up if I can get my pump off of my bike oh that's peanut drag look at that hook there <laughs> oh that thing is being a bitch it's got a hook on that and won't let go there all right now gotta pump these up Get that motor warmed up a little bit. Armstrong pump here. <laughs> Air pump by Armstrong. <laughs> here, I'll just go ahead and get her done. Get her done. A little bit of cardio before we take a little ride. I have to do the other tires too. I'll have to check them out. Maybe they're good. I don't know. We will see in a moment. As soon as I get this one pumped up. They don't have to be full full. I just want to take it for a test ride right now. I'm going to make sure that coil stays good. This motor stays running for me and it doesn't die out. We can take us a nice ride, Frenchville. Make sure I got enough air in there. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Check these others. Yeah, it's flat too. Oh yeah. Seems a little bit low. How's about that? That's kind of odd there. Both fronts seem low. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see me on both sides. Hopefully, you can see me a little bit over here. 
Oh, this is all, all four tires need there. Front tires are smaller than the back ends, so they fill up a little bit faster. Be ready to ride in a moment here. Now, uh, almost done. I gotta put my caps back on the front here. Uh, oh, oh boy, definitely get cardio this morning. caps lost the back one somehow motor still running nice and sweet so far so good Now we're ready to take a ride and see if this bad boy is going to uh, run for us all the way to Frenchville or not. We'll take us a short ride right now and find out. Ooh, so far so good. It's running nice. I'm liking it. Here we go. goggles on. Oh shit, they're all sweaty. <laughs> That's alright. I'd rather look through these sweaty goggles than to have some bug hit me in the eye. That would really suck. I'm going to take a nice ride here. I want to try this coil out. I mean, this puppy's running like new right now. Woo, water! All right! <laughs> I have to show that a little better on the way back. I didn't want to get the camera too wet for you to be able to see. Okay, a 
Okay, she's shutting off on me again. All right, that's not good there. That's not good. See, I was hoping that's what I was going to be preventing. But see, now it seems like it's going to go and do it again. That's not good. Maybe I can't take my ride to Frenchville. I have to wait a little bit here and uh, try to get her started again. When she does this, I have to stop. I have to wait and let her cool off. Ain't another one of their choice. So, I mean, I will see right now for the hell of it. So make sure I'm in, uh, I am in neutral there. The starter switch is on. Everything is on. I better put my brake on. If it doesn't work this way, I can pretty much probably coast start it here. This is a big hill. So let's see what I can do right now. Put this over here. Maybe you can see me, hopefully. Well, started right up. That's good. Started right up. All right, I'm not gonna bother putting my goggles on. Let's just see how far we can go. I'm not gonna bother revving her up real high this time. I'm just gonna ride her out. That's not good, but we'll see. It seems to be doing okay so far. Running at lower RPMs. Check a look, take a look at that beaver pond. Uh, isn't that nice? Nice beaver pond here. The water's way down now. It used to be going over that dam a bit there. Now look at it, it's down a little bit. Some of that's overgrowth there, but it is down just a little bit. No, I guess that's all overgrowth there. That, that is up as high as it's supposed to be, huh? How about that? Boy, that's a nice dam right there. That's the, the beaver house is right there. That little mound you see, that's the hut right there. I'll see, maybe I can zoom in on her for you. Holy shit, looks like it's already zoomed way in. What's going on here? Holy cow, how long has it been like that? That's a mess. Well, anyway, there's the beaver house right there, the hut. Yeah, and uh, they got a nice dam here. Right across the trail, right along with the trail. So anyway, the bike is still running. I don't know how long that zoom was messed up like that. I hope, I hope not too damn long. That's that's a shame. I hope that wasn't messed up like that too damn long. All right, let's see. I got to get turned around here, so this is kind of tough because there's a big drop right there, and then there's a big drop right behind me. All right. Reverse there with that red light. That's a reverse. Yeah. See, there's a drop right there. <laughs> so, gotta be careful. A little switch right here puts you into forward. Now in forward, that's that's neutral. First gear. Better get my goggles and put them on. I need to clean them up a little bit though. They got <laughs> kind of messed up there a bit. And I can't see out of them too good, so I'm gonna clean them up a little bit so I can see out of them better. That's better. Now, we'll try this going back and hopefully, well, this needs to be tight a little bit. See if that's better. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Now, let's see how long the bike stays running. 
Hopefully she stays running all the way back, no problem. I'm not gonna bother revving her real high this time. Just take a nice ride here. See how far we can go. I sure hope it stays good. I would like to take a nice ride to Frenchville today. That would be good. Uh-oh, starting to die on me again. That's not good. I hear the motor starting to try and cut on me a little bit. Still running okay though. so good. Not too bad so far here. That's what I ought to do. I ought to just strap this camera right to the side of my cheek. Be a lot better right here, I think. should try to find a way to do that. I think I will. Maybe not today, but I will. Uh-oh. It's trying to cut on me. I'll lower the, lower the RPMs and see if she stays good. She is staying good so far. Not too bad. If she stays like this, it'd be good to go to all the way to Frenchville, no problem. I gotta, yeah, uh-oh, she's bogging a little, I wonder what, okay, it's no problem, good to go, she's running okay so far, I think I may take her for a little bit more of a test ride before we go because she is sputtering a bit. Here she goes, sputtering and sputtering. She's going to stop on me again right when I get home. Watch this. No, she's still going. No, she's going to stop now. There she goes. She's stopping right here. That's it. She dies right here. So, I guess that's it. I'm not going to be taking any ride to Frenchville today with her running live. I don't know what it is now. Now, now I'm stumped, okay? It's got to be something inside the motor, probably under the flywheel, the generator or something. I hear mittens over here crying. Yeah, mittens. What are you doing again? Did you think I was going good, huh? Well, I'm back. Yes, I am. I'm back here. And looks like I'm not going anywhere, kid. Not today. Unfortunately. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll be going back upstairs, kid. Well, that's a drag. I don't know what to do about that. The only other thing now is to... If I can somehow find some money and... Get it to a mechanic and have them work on it because I can't, uh, I, I don't know what the problem is. But that tells me that this other coil over here is probably good too, so at least I have a spare coil now. I mean, you got to look at the good side, right? Uh, it wasn't the coil, so now I have a spare coil. At any rate, whatever it is I'm not gonna be able to fix it today so I'm not going to chance taking a ride all the way to Frenchville that's a very long long ride I'm talking a, an hour through very very deep woods okay and it's a very long ride so Mr. Mittens I guess we're staying home 
He says, well, I was going to stay home anyway. I mean, he says, I was going to stay home anyway. I said, well, maybe I'll just go on up and get this on the internet, <laughs> you know. Oh well, so goes life.